Hello, hello, hello. This is Lady Rainbow. What's happening with y'all? What's happening? What's going on? How y'all men and women doing today? Oh, I know it's been a couple of weeks as usual. I ain't made a video. And um, I think I'm going to make this part two of Don't Let a Man See Your Cooking Skills. Ladies, the same go with the men. Thank you for the subscriber who... Uh, sent me an email and um, said that uh, women shouldn't be accepting money when the man ain't their husband, which is true. But we all know they're not putting a gun to you men head out there, okay? I just want to say they're not putting a gun against your head saying give me money. That's another story. Let's get back to part two. And I want the subscriber who emailed me to know that you're right. All men are not like that. I didn't say they was. I'm telling the ladies, do not show a man your cooking skills right away. You know, men say that women do talk too much. They show too much. The man is the same way. My video is not about man bashing, woman bashing. I speak on relationships. I am a domestic violence advocate. And I speak on a lot of good things, including cooking videos, everything, every fun things. But I'm very serious about helping people out there, men and women, especially women, young women. I'm here to help young women, domestic violence. But today we're talking about relationships. We're talking about dating. And I'm going to repeat again, do not show a man, ladies, your cooking skills right away. Okay, not all men are like that, that manipulates and uses a woman. Same thing goes with the man and stuff. You don't want to show the woman everything right away, okay? And like I say, as far as the money part, that's another, that's another video, okay? I'll repeat, the reason why I say that is because by experience, okay? I have did that several times. While I was in my 20s and 30s and 40s. Didn't know no better. But you have people out here that do use you for cooking. I had a guy that asked me one time. I was at a, a bar many years ago and stuff. And it was happy hour and I was ordering some food. Me and him was conversating and he was picking up some food. And, and, and you cook? I say, oh, no. Like that, you know, and then he gonna try to give me his phone number and stuff. That tell you right there. Hey, what was he thinking? Was he thinking about finding a, a, a nice friend to eat off of? This man was well dressed and everything. These are the kind of things I be talking about, man. I be telling you. Not all men are like that, but some of them are. I've, I've been used, uh, uh, you know, making mistakes, thinking I having a relationship with a man and he don't really want to have nothing to do with me, that he'd knock on the door and there I was, he coming in and we conversating and you cook and there I am, you know, and this was back in the day when I was in my 30s and 40s and stuff, didn't want to be by myself, you know how it is, and, and went to fixing him a plate. He did not call until he wanted to eat. And then I'd see him for one or two days. I wouldn't see him no more. I had to put a stop to it, ladies. Don't let a man use you like that. The same goes to you men. Do not let a woman use you like that. Don't let her disappear a month. Then come back. Then disappear. Then you, you steadily cooking for her. You cooking. Because the simple fact, you like this person. But you can only be a fool for so long, okay? You ladies, you can only be that man's fool for so long. And he, he hungry. And that tell you right there, he childish. And I'm talking about big old grown men in their 50s and 60s. You ought to be able to feed your own self. You depending off a woman's food. You cook and you are all relaxed back, you know, while she in there cooking. Some men are like that. You, he done took off his shoes. He know he don't want you. And now you in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> fixing hamburgers and stuff. <laughs> fixing hamburgers. You want a hamburger? 
And you know, he ain't even your husband. And you have to learn from that. And you are putting a plate on the table, he walking over there. And it don't do nothing but make your anger go higher and higher and higher. You're going to get more angrier and angrier and angrier. Because this man don't want you. He using you somewhere to sleep and lay up with and eat. So, what the solution is, cut him off. One time he called. I put it into it. I don't want to see you no more. I don't care. Uh, no, I didn't cook. I tried to call you so. I got somebody else. I just made up an excuse. I just, I have somebody else. You see, even though you on this dating phase, a person could still date you and use you. If you tell this man you want a relationship, he shouldn't be disappearing and coming back, disappearing and coming back. See? He using you for your cooking skills. Then you got men out here in the world. You meet somebody at a store or meet somebody at an event. The first thing that come on their mind, you know, uh, what you do, do you cook? See? So they won't spend their money. They use you and then come over, come over and then an hour or two later, well, I guess I get ready to leave. That's some cold, excuse me, but that's some cold shit. Then the guy that I'm telling y'all about, he had a niece that stayed downstairs. He would go downstairs, then come back up. Baby, my niece said, can she get a plate? I said, let me tell you something. It ain't going to be no packing plates out here. Out my door. Well, well, that's my family. I said, I don't care if that is your family. This is my food. See, the narcissists have the nerves to throw that in your face. Well, that's my family. I don't care. This is my food. I said, ain't no plates going to be packing. If she wants some, she need to come in here and tell me. He would fix a plate and take it to his niece. Then he would call me from his cell phone. Baby, you, you have some syrup? We making some of coke cats. I went out there. This was many years ago, y'all. Way 10, 15 years ago. I took that syrup. When he came out that door, I threw it, threw it on the ground at him using you and go back and tell their family that you cooked then come in your house and fix a plate and take their family that's a straight up manipulating ass man you need to cut him off all right that's the end of part two don't show a man your cooking skills yet don't go to cooking yeah i can cook i can cook lasagna i can burn i can burn running your big mouth ladies okay this is Lady Rainbow, Constance Nunn. You can email me at ConstanceNunn1965 at gmail.com. You can listen to me on Anchor FM, Constance Nunn. You can catch me up on Facebook, Constance Nunn. Okay? All right. Have a great day, okay?